Hey guys, uh, we are here to do a little lesson on the countries that are present in Europe, and uh, I'm also trying to you know try and, and present a, uh, an easier way to remember all the countries uh, that are there in Europe, uh, minus the ones you know that are basically a part of of uh, Eurasia, which is uh, between uh, uh, Europe and, and Central uh, Asia. Right. So uh, apart from that, uh, we'll we'll cover all the other countries. What I'll uh, you know, to start off, what I'll do is I'll just divide the map into a few parts so that it is easier for us to, uh, you know, to uh, I mean, I remember all the countries. What I will first do is I'll take this part here and just draw a line. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll first draw the line, and, and later on I'll tell you why I did this. Right. So just let me draw these lines here. Right, so so we'll consider this entire portion uh, as as a separate entity. After this, we'll consider uh, say about you know let's take it from here onwards. Yep. So from here to this whole thing and here as a sec different section of Europe and this entire part as a different section of Europe and this as the fourth part the three you know elongated countries here so let's start from the uh, from these islands that are up here uh, and and here as well so this island here is the country of Ireland right and this is Iceland so you know Iceland is up north the one next to this elongated country here is Ireland and this country that you most probably will be able to remember very easily is United Kingdom of Great Britain which includes England at the lower part, Wales in the western part, Scotland of north here and Northern Ireland this small section here. Then below UK you have this pretty large country which is France. right? And below France, you have another quite large square-shaped country, which is Spain. And here's a country that's next to Spain, and it is Portugal. Right? Okay, now let if you look at France, France borders a few countries on its east, eastern side. So the, uh, so the country up here, the first one that it borders is, let me just, you know, Reduce the size width of the ink so that I can write better. This is Belgium. This country here. This is Belgium. This another very small country here, right? That you can see. This is Luxembourg. Okay, so Luxembourg. This small country here. Then there's a bit of a border that it shares with another great uh, you know european country which is germany right and below germany it shares a border with uh, with europe's playground which is switzerland right and Below Switzerland, it shares the border with a pretty elongated coastal country, and this is the you know famous country, Italy. Right. So this island here is Sicily, and belongs to Italy as well. And these are islands that uh, you know each belong to to Italy and France. So after we have covered this part, you will see this. Uh, now, if you take Germany for an example. Uh, we see this country that borders on its western side, northern side, and a few on the eastern side. So we'll quickly cover the ones that is on the uh, west and north. This here is Netherlands. Previously also known as Holland. And this up north here, the country that is north of Germany, with a few islands here, is Denmark 
right okay now if you go to the east of germany there is a large country that it borders first on the eastern side this is poland and below poland it borders uh, you know another uh, sort of a playground shaped country this is the czech republic right and below czech republic it borders another you know playground shaped country which also borders switzerland this is austria and and that's all the countries that uh, you know border germany then uh, austria you know is also bordered by three other countries here so the first country uh, that is to the east of austria is slovakia slovakia yeah and the one below slovakia again also bordering austria towards its western side is hungary or you know hungary right and uh, then below hungary you have this country here which is slovenia slovenia so slovakia hungary and slovenia right then you you will see that you know we have completed an entire section of europe we'll then then take this part up you know which comprises of the balkan lands as well as uh, greece and surrounding states so let's get started with the first country here that is you know in a shape of a of a prong v shaped country this here is croatia let me just write it in small font croatia this is a country that you know borders croatia throughout uh, you know uh, on 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 its on its western and northern side this country is bosnia bosnia yes and to the east of bosnia you will see you know that a country that that borders croatia as well as bosnia and is quite large in shape this is i'll just write it in a slanted way so that you know it becomes easier this is serbia right and then below bosnia and serbia you have this country which is known as montenegro but i'll just write mon here so you'll have to remember this as montenegro and right next to montenegro this another small shaped country below serbia that is kosovo k o s o v o i'll just write kos this here is kosovo then below Uh, you know montenegro and kosovo is albania albania a l b a n i a this country here and next to albania you have macedonia the country from which you know uh, i mean uh, it was all uh, macedonia was also the name of the country which alexander the great ruled so i'll write this as macedonia this country here is macedonia then below albania and macedonia we have this country here which is the famous you know country greece with a lot of ancient culture and you know you'll also uh, know it by by you know the by the by the mythology and history that we have read uh, in the in the past so this is greece the legendary greece right and then right next to macedonia here and greece uh, that has greece towards the southern side is bulgaria bulgaria and to the north of bulgaria this is a quite large country called romania yes romania and this is the uh, you know black sea right and there's this you know small section of land which belongs to this country this pretty large country which is called turkey right so this is also part of turkey and this is the place you know where uh, turkey's famous uh, istanbul city is located so now we have completed the you know this uh, south eastern part of uh, europe as well now this here if you see if you leave these three uh, countries out this is basically russia and these are the other countries which sort of you know uh, were were created as an as independent countries when russia when ussr uh, was you know disintegrated in 1991 
so we'll just mention this as Russia and you know, this part here is also Russia right okay so the first country to the west of Russia is Estonia right the next one in order is Latvia right there's another one here which does not border Russia at all so this is Lithuania Lithuania the one below Lithuania Latvia and having Russia on its eastern side is Belarus and this large one here below Belarus and also bordering Russia is Ukraine and the one below Ukraine the small one here bordering Romania on the you know uh, sort of uh, southwestern side and having Ukraine on all other sides is Moldova Moldova right so Russia is you know is primarily uh, uh, has a, a you know, smaller part of, of its area in in Europe and has a majority in Asia but but you know it contains its capital Moscow here somewhere and St. Petersburg uh, out here and also a majority of the population of Russia lives in the European part rather than uh, you know in the Asian part which is mostly uh, a pretty dry a, dry, a sort of a very very cold dry desert and, and mostly covered by th that area which is called Serbia so now now we're just left with these three uh, you know countries which are called the Scandinavian countries together so the first one here is Norway right the first one and uh, after Norway we have Sweden Sweden and the last one here is Finland Finland and these three countries together they form Scandinavia so what I'll do is I'll also quickly you know separate this part out just so that you remember it better so you know first we saw the entire western part of of Europe then we saw the sort of the south eastern part of uh, of Europe then we had Russia and the countries which sort of segregated from uh, from from USSR and these are the Scandinavian countries and this all together formulates uh, Europe you know uh, as we know it thank you I hope you'll remember a lot of these countries from now on thanks